I sure hope Sister Barbara is okay. Sister Barbara said that she was going out to pick some herbs earlier, but I'm afraid that she has yet to return. Hmm. Perhaps I should report the matter to the Knights of Havonia. You? Not to mention, it would save me the trouble of reporting the matter to the Knights. All right, I'll leave it to you. Before Sister Barbara departed, she said that she was headed to Wolvendom to pick some herbs. You could start by looking for her there. Sister Barbara... Strange. I can't seem to find any. Oh, oh, it's you! What are you doing here? Is something the matter? Oh, I see. No need to worry. There hasn't been any sign of danger. I'm just here to gather some red wolf hook berries, that's all. But the strange thing is, there should be lots of wolf hooks here. And I can't seem to find any. Hmm. Well, anyway, no need to worry about me. I'll just have another look around here, and if I can't find any, I'll just... Miss Barbara! Huh? She's not here either. Huh? Oh, somebody seems to be coming this way. Oh, I'm sorry, but please just keep quiet, okay? Don't let them find us. Because... Well, just because... All right, then. Let's head this way. Shh. Keep your voice down. We mustn't let that person find us here. Oh, this should be a good spot. Let's wait here for a while. Well... It's a little embarrassing to say, but... In Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the other sisters have started encouraging me to perform across Tibet. Now, more and more people are showing up to hear me perform. I'm happy to see such turnouts, don't get me wrong. But now, people always stop me on the street when I go shopping or when I go out for personal matters. I know that all they want is to get my autograph or to ask me how I'm doing, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm very thankful for all my fans, but oh, there are simply too many of them. I always do my best to fulfill their requests and not let them down, but sometimes I feel that I just don't have the strength to do so. Even when I'm in the church, people will still come hoping to greet me. 
I'm constantly in a state of tension no matter where I go. The reason I came here was not only to find wolf hooks for making Tunner's cough medicine, but also to have some quiet time alone. Do you understand that feeling? To sit peacefully and not think about anything? Just by yourself? It's simply the feeling of relaxation. It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. Before I knew it, I was out here all day and forgot to return to the city. Oh yes, there are plenty of the normal variety. But I'm looking for red wolf hooks. No matter how hard I look, I can't seem to find any. I clearly remember that they always grow here. I guess that's all we can do for now. Although it certainly isn't nice to treat someone that way. But today, I simply wish to keep to myself. Well, my father has always worked at the church. And the church has always looked after me. I guess it was only natural for me to join the church when I grew up. And besides... My sister works in the Knights of Favonius. Oh, I can't even begin to compare with her. Not only is she adept with a blade, she's also capable of shouldering all the Knights of Favonius' matters on her own. I guess that's just who she is. I've never been able to come close to competing with her. Aside from singing and performing, I don't really have any abilities worth mentioning. Besides, my singing alone could never truly heal the wounds of others. I suppose that's another reason why I decided to join the church. To learn how to truly heal others. Though I may not be particularly skilled in battle, being able to heal the wounds of others is good in its own right. At least, that's what I think. Of course! You are the honorary knight after all. Feel free to find me for healing anytime. Alright then, that person should be long gone by now. I still need to find some of those wolf hooks. I can't seem to find any of the red variety anywhere. Oh, your help would be much appreciated. Let's search the nearby area. I'm sure we'll find some in no time. Strange. I'm almost certain I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. I can't seem to find those red wolf hooks anywhere. and bring them back to her. Find some red wolf hook berries? Let me have a look. Uh, yep, that should be enough. But it's still strange. I know for sure that I've seen lots of red wolf hooks growing here before. I wonder if someone had already gathered them all. Well, never mind. Thankfully, the berries you gathered should be just enough. Let's go!
glad we finally made it out of there. The Wolvendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much sunlight. If you stay in there for too long, you can't help but start feeling a little gloomy. A little sunlight always helps keep your spirits up. Ah, yes. Now that we're here, I'd like to go to Don Winery and check on Tunner's condition. I've told him before that he should take it easy and rest for a while, but he never seems to listen. He even told me not to let Guy know anything about it. I'd like to check on him before going back and deciding which medicine I'll need to make. Um, would it be possible to, you know, ask for your help again? If you could go back and report to Sister Victoria while I check on Tunner, oh, that would be a big help. She's most certainly worried about me after being a waste. And besides, there's a lot of matters I still need to take care of back at the cathedral. It would be better if I let her know the situation. Oh, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. You're back again. If you're looking for Sister Barbara, she's yet to return. Oh, I see. <sighs> Thank Barbados that she's all right. But it sounds like she won't be back anytime soon. Hmm. Perhaps I'll have to pass her responsibilities in the cathedral to- Oh, well, that's most kind of you. I certainly wouldn't want to trouble you. Hmm. Let me think for a moment. Ah, yes. You could help tidy up around the cathedral a bit. People tend to bring dust in as they come into the cathedral, so the floor is often quite dirty. Cleaning and the like have always been Sister Barbara's responsibility. So the moment she's gone, everything starts getting- Yes, that's right. She always said that she could handle it herself and that there's no need to ask anyone else to help her. But she does often appear quite exhausted after she's finished with the cleaning. To be honest, I'm most surprised that you are willing to help, or rather that Barbara is willing to let you help. However, this would help to lighten her burden. Anyway, I'll let you handle the cleaning for now, honorary knight. starting to think that she works much harder sister victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral i just returned a short while ago you must be thirsty after so much work no how about i treat you to a drink oh i've just remembered that the cat's tail is promoting a special drink recently miss margaret said that the name of the drink is fantastic summer serendipity coral sparkling tea <laughs> She also mentioned that it's her secret weapon to beating Angel's share in drink sales. Where it is that the drink's pretty good, but there's always a line to get it. We'll probably have to wait if we want some. If you'd rather not stand in line, I could make you a glass of my very own chili brew. Which would you like to drink? Coming right up! But I should warn you, the flavor is quite unique. I'm not sure how you'll handle it. All right, let me think. To make this drink, we'll need some fresh Julian chilies and sweet flowers. The key to a good batch of chili brew is not the quantity of ingredients, but the quality of ingredients. I know where to gather fresh Julian chilies, but sweet flowers might be a bit tricky. Though they're easy to find, high quality sweet flowers are few and far between. Oh, why don't we split up to search for ingredients? Once we've found the ingredients we need, 
We can meet up just south of the Whispering Woods. Oh, you really think so? Okay then, with the honorary knight by my side, I can gather ingredients without a care in the world. Oh, and by the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I still give her my itinerary for any trips I take. We should go check in with Sister Victoria first. We could say... Hmm, we're going out to gather some herbs. Oh, Sister Barbara, is something the matter? I'd like to go to the Whispering Woods to pick some herbs. It shouldn't take long. Oh? But didn't you just submit a request for half a day's leave to see a friend? Now you suddenly intend to go herb picking? Hmm. I thought you would take a rest today. Still, you may do as you please with your plans. I won't interfere. But the Whispering Woods are quite a distance away. Per with the honorary knight by my side, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Thank you for informing me. I've noted down your plans. Please do come back soon. Thank you. All right, we're good to go. Let's head out. flowers growing here are some of the highest quality. I often pick them here, but why are there so many monsters around? <sighs> Let's take care of them first. Then we can look for sweet flowers in the vicinity. Let's dance. Burst forth. <sighs> Fuck things up a little. Going out is tiring. Protect us. 
scare them. More than a few monsters, but you made it look easy. Oh, stop right there. Looks like you hurt yourself. No, no, no. Even a graze can turn into a wound of unimaginable evil if you let it. Wait just a second. I'll have it healed in no time. That should do it. Okay. Let's have a look for these sweet flowers. Hello there. Excuse me, but aren't you the deaconess of the Church of Favonius? Uh, yes, I am. Are you all right? Oh, praise the Archons. Please, can you heal me? I'm, I'm a hunter from Springvale. I was attacked by monsters when I passed through here. I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? Treasure who now? <coughs> Don't be silly. Would a treasure hoarder get injured and then stop a couple of passers-by begging to be healed? Uh, don't be ridiculous. Me? A treasure hoarder? L look here. Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this? How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey with all these terrible injuries? <laughs> it's no wonder looking at you. You adventurers are all alike. Suspicious by nature. Sister Deaconess, you believe me, right? Heal me. I beg of you. Mm, yes, I will heal you. Oh, his wounds look difficult to heal. I'll need some herbs. Can you watch him for me? Oh, uh, okay. But I should heal him first. Wait a minute. You know, I'm suddenly feeling a lot better. Where was I? Uh, Sister Deaconess, uh, I should be going. I won't be... But we're, we're done here, no? Is there a problem? I ha What's your problem? You're not making any sense. I just asked to be healed. Is there... You think I'm afraid of you? If you want to catch me, you better be up to the task. Nowhere to hide. Hey! I'll protect us. Fine, you caught me. Like I said, I'm already leaving. Oh. Oh, thank you. I had a look at his wounds. I think he really did need healing. Even if he was a treasure hoarder. Still, I'm sure you made the right decision. If he did have some ulterior motive, we might have fallen into a trap. Whatever the case, if he does have others lurking about, we're probably still in danger. We should go back to Mondstadt. <sighs> it looks like Chili Brew isn't in the cards this time. I'll have to get around to making one for you next time. I'm heading back to Mondstadt. You should come as well. Don't spend too long out here. Barbara, she's not here either. Huh? Oh, somebody seems to be coming. Oh, because. Oh, all right. Please just, just don't tell them that I'm here. All right. The voice seemed to be coming from over there. Let's go take a closer look. Remembers him? Isn't that Albert? What is he doing here? Barbara Sama, uh, are you here? Uh, who? Me? Uh, uh, well, I'm looking for Barbara Sama. 
I was originally planning to give her some herbs at the cathedral, but Sister Victoria told me she had gone out to attend to some matters. When I sought Barbara Sama for healing recently, she mentioned to me that the church was running low on certain medicine ingredients. I seem to remember the ingredients she mentioned, some type of red wolf hook berry. I figured she was most likely somewhere out here picking wolf hooks, so I thought I'd come and lend her a hand. Besides, as leader of the Barbara fan club, how could I ever let Barbara Sama go wandering alone in such a dangerous place? So I decided to come to Wolvendom looking for Barbara Sama and picking red wolf hooks along the way. That's right, and I'll take them back to the church shortly. After all, I am the leader of the Barbara fan club. It's my duty to make sure Barbara Sama's life's easier. Huh? But uh, judging from your expression, you've never heard of the Barbara fan club. I, uh, uh, anyways, the Barbara fan club will have to wait for the moment. I'll fill you in on how great it is when I have time later. I must keep searching for Barbara Sama for now. <sighs> I don't really even know if Barbara Sama's anywhere around here. <sighs> you might be right. I should go back and gather more people to help with the search. Since Barbara Sama came here to pick those red wolf hooks, we could just follow the trail of those specific berries to lead us right to her. Huh, you're right. I should probably try searching some other areas. Uh, by the way, you didn't happen to see any sign of Barbara Sama when you arrived, did you? Uh, perhaps I was here. No way! How could I ever mistake the sound of some monsters for Barbara Sama's sweet voice? Well, whatever. I don't have time to keep talking like this. I should keep searching for Barbara Sama, and you should go back to whatever it is you were doing. Barbara Sama! Where are you? He's bound to find Barbara here sooner or later if this keeps up. Unless. We could start yelling, too. That way, Barbara will hear us coming, and we'll still have a chance to escape. Hey, what are you so embarrassed about? Oh, just follow Paimon's lead. Barbara! Oh, Barbara! It's us! Barbara? Where are you, Barbara? Huh? You're yelling even louder than me. Let's do our best together. Barbara! It's us! Are you there? Barbara Sama! Where are you? Oh, it seems Barbara's already left. Oh, good. <coughs> My throat is getting... <coughs> oh, I guess Barbara Sama isn't... No, it's not that. I just... <coughs> oh. <coughs> uh, all right. My throat won't hold up much longer. <laughs> it's no wonder you've become the honorary knight. You certainly give it your all. <coughs> uh, oh, all right. It seems Barbara Sama isn't anywhere around here. Let's return to the city. <coughs> Once Barbara Sama returns to Mondstadt, though, I'll have to ask her to heal my throat. There! Let's go take a closer look. Barbara Sama! Uh, are you here? Uh, who? Me? Uh, I was when I I seem to remember I figured she would be side so I decided That's right, huh? I, uh, <sighs> uh, 
Yes, I'm well aware. That's exactly why, as leader of the Barbara fan club, I could never let Barbara Sama. W Since Barbara Sama came. Um, mate, could she really have. Re uh Uh, you might be right. I haven't heard any sign of her since. Unless she's intent. Right. Hmm. Well, it seems that Barbara Sama may have already left the area. Huh. <sighs> All right then. Barbara Sama must be somewhere else. Oh, but I still feel a bit worried. I'll go report the matter to Huffman and then have another look around the church. Here, you can have these red wolf hooks I picked earlier. There's no way I'd be able to carry them all back to the city. I'll take what I can to the church after I get back. <sighs> I just hope that Barbara-sama did indeed go back to the city. So... is he gone? Oh, thank you. Although... I guess I'm not being very polite towards him. Well... It's a little embarrassing to say, but in Mondstadt, I often perform songs for people. Because it's been so well received, the others... I'm happy to see such... I know that, and I always do, but even when the reason... Do you under... It's been far too long since I've had that feeling. No, I couldn't find any. All the kind I'm looking for are red. I remember seeing them here before. Huh? E oh my... I've been far too impolite. Albert came all this way just to help me, and I... But if I were to go and apologize to him, it would probably only make him feel even worse. Oh, I guess I'm still just too immature. Let's just head back to the city for now. I'll think of a way to make it up to Albert later. Well, I know. And you also know. And we mustn't forget that Barbados also knows. We certainly can't say that no one knows about this matter, don't you think? And besides, as a deaconess, I could never simply ignore such a matter. I must take the appropriate actions and make things right. I'll see to that matter on my own. Anyway, the berries you have here will be just enough. We should get going. finally made it out of there. The Wolfendom Forest is a nice getaway to be alone for a while, but there's not much if you stay in a little sun- Ah, yes, I've told- I'd like- Um, she's mo- And the sun- Oh, he must have other matters to attend to. No problem, then. I guess I'll go talk to her myself. Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Thank you so much! I just returned to sh- You must be thirsty after so much work, no? How about it? Oh! Miss Margaret, she also- Where it is, if you'd rather- Which would you- Yeah, it does sound amazing. I'm not sure how Margaret came up with such a name. But I have heard that the drink is quite popular now. There- If you'd like- However, with so- I- What do you think? It's settled then. Let's meet up at the entrance to the cat's tail. It, uh, it'll be fine. I'll just tell them that today is my day off. I'm sure they'll understand. Let's get going then. See you at the cat's tail. <laughs> Yes, my child? Oh, yes. Sister Barbara just submitted her requ- I must- But that's beside the point. What is it you- Oh? You mean to tell me that Barbara intends to accompany you to buy this... 
special drink? Then you must be the friend that she mentioned. Hmm. Seeing as you're the honorary n Well then, please take good care of Sister Barbara. Well, as you may already know, Sister Barbara is quite popular in Mondstadt for several reasons. Although the citizens here may only be acting out of good intention, there are too many of them, and Sister Barbara can't handle it all. If they appear while she is working here at the church, we can come and intervene. But if she's approached by fans during her time off, then she can only fend for herself. And not to mention, she's too... kind. She'll always try to fulfill the requests of the citizens of Mondstadt, even when it takes a heavy toll and leaves her more exhausted than actual working hours. So with that in mind, we thought we'd have Sister Barbara always tell us where she'd be, just in case we need to come rescue her from the crowds. My hope is that Sister Barbara stops pushing herself so hard. Sama, I never expected I would have a chance to meet you here today. Are you here attending to matters for the church? Uh, I, I guess you could say that. Uh, uh, Barbara Sama, may I get your autograph? I, uh, my daughter Ellen is a big fan of yours. Uh, oh, is that so? <laughs> All right, uh, just one moment. Oh gosh, Barbara Sama, I love your style. Please tell me how I can be more like you. Oh, oh really? Well, I'm still learning and growing myself. I, I guess all I can say is, uh, do your best every day. Oh, Barbara-sama! Uh, Barbara-sama! Barbara-sama! Oh, my! Uh, Barbara-sama, can I get an autograph? Oh, Ellen would be so happy. She's your biggest fan. Ah! Wait! I, uh... No. Oh, is, is that right? <laughs> well, then, uh, I'll leave her to it. Ellen looks busy with her training. <laughs> Some other time, perhaps. Oh, Barbara Sama, you're so hardworking. If I put in as much effort as you, who knows where my apprenticeship would take me? You... It, you must be the honorary knight. What are you, Um... Oh... <laughs> of course. Barbasama is working after all. Forgive me. I, I'll... I'll leave you in peace. Please, Barbasama, teach me your style. How can I be more like you? Uh, sure. Consider it to others. Huh? Aren't you that honorary knight? Official business? Oh, I thought... <laughs> Apologies. I just got so excited when I saw Barbara-sama. Yes, you're right. Being considerate to others is the right place to start. <laughs> Barbara-sama and the honorary knight in the same place. This must be incredibly important official business. I'll take my leave. Huh? Where did everybody... The lowdown? You mean you persuaded them to leave for now? I understand everybody's enthusiasm, but... The longer I stay here, the more people will gather. It's always been that way. I just don't know how to turn them away. In the end, the Knights of Favonius always have to come and restore order. <sighs> if only I had your way with words. Here. It's the fantastic Summer Serendipity Coral Sparkling Tea you wanted. I ordered this one especially for you. <sighs> I hardly ever get a day off. 
Why don't we take a stroll outside the city together and finish our drinks? It's nice to finally relax for a while. Thanks for accompanying me. Come to think of it, this is the first time we've gone for a walk together. Haven't you? When I heard you'd received the title of honorary knight, I thought you'd turn out to be more of a solemn character. But now that I've met you, I can't quite believe it. I never thought... Oh, I hope I'm not offending you. What I mean is, for someone as young as you to achieve the title of honorary knight, it's amazing. Jean must really believe in you to grant you this title. I hope I can be as great as you one day, so I can help everybody around me too. But for now... All I can do is sing. <sighs> so sorry. Always thinking about myself. <sighs> We've walked a long way. Why don't we take a break up ahead? Go as one! <sighs> it looks so peaceful here. Nobody's passing through except us. Let's rest for a while. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Do you know what an idol is? I guess you've heard that I sometimes sing for the people in Mondstadt. I can use the power of my vision to heal physical wounds, but it's no use on someone afflicted by sadness. I found out in a magazine that there was such a thing as an idol. In the magazine it said that an idol was a person that spreads love and hope through song and dance. I don't know if it's really possible, but at least the residents of- uh, Really? That's so impressive! Do you know that idol? They sound like a mighty vision bearer. Still, using song and dance to heal the sick of heart? It's easier said than done. I don't know if I'm up to it. I'm not even very good at being a d- Aww. If that really is true, then that's amazing. <sighs> Thank you. It's been a long time since I've had such a long conversation. And it's all me complaining. <sighs> oh, thanks for listening. The support of an honorary knight goes a long way. <sighs> so... We've still not finished our drinks. Let's finish them off while we're here. We can rest today, but it's back to the grindstone tomorrow. <sighs> I guess that takes care of them. You truly are the honorary knight. You barely broke a sweat. Oh, stop right there. No, no, wait, just... That should do it. Hello there. Excuse me. Uh, e Pray. I'm, I'm a hunter from... S I was lucky to have escaped, but please, won't you heal me? Leader. Leader. That's gotta be... Um, is this a trick question? L look here. Aren't these monster injuries? How could I have done this to my... How can you be so heartless? How could I make the journey... <laughs> Sister D... Mm, yes. Oh. Okay. I'm going to look for some small lamp grass in the area. Please stay with him and make sure no monsters get to him. You... <clears throat> Fine, heartless adventurer. I'll stay hidden, Sister Deaconess, but please be back soon. I beg of you. We'll be back soon. Don't worry. You got a problem? Stop looking at me like that. you're thinking. I've heard a lot about the criminal methods of the treasure hoarders around Mondstadt. You 
Usually, if I come across a person like this, I'd simply ask them to seek help from somebody at the church. But this fellow is in serious condition. He needs urgent healing. After all, I've got an honorary knight at my side to protect me, right? Hmm. Sister Deaconess, you're back. This should do the trick. Hold on a moment. The, you adventurers really are jumpy these days. All right, that should do it. But just to be safe, you should probably pay a visit to the church. <laughs> no need. I should be able to recover by myself. Uh, Sister Deaconess, why weren't you suspicious of me? Like the adventurer here. Surely you've heard about the treasure hoarders and their methods. <laughs> Feigning injury by the roadside, begging for healing to get close to travelers, then striking at the opportune moment. You know, stuff like that. And that's just one of their methods. Weren't you worried that I might have been looking to harm you? Um, it crossed my mind. And yet, why did you still help me? Oh, the fact was you needed healing, right? And you hadn't done anything wrong. You just asked me for help. Whatever your true identity, in my eyes, you were merely a person in need of healing. Sister Deaconess, the truth is, I am a treasure hoarder. My plan was to feign injury in order to take advantage of the situation. But I ran into a group of monsters. I, I barely made it out. Then I realized I actually had to seek help from someone, anyone. But travelers all kept their distance. None of them believed me. Until you showed up. I can't thank you enough for healing me. I feel strong enough to carry on now. I won't trouble you anymore. Oh. Well, the best thing would be for you to come back to Mondstadt with us. The church can help with your treatment. You're not fully healed yet. Please, I've taken up enough of your time. Oh. These are for you. I'm afraid I have nothing of value to give, but I picked these sweet flowers from nearby. Take them as thanks for healing me. I will remember your kindness. In the future, if you have any trouble with treasure hoarders, just mention my name, Uwe. I guarantee they won't dare touch the hem of your jacket. I must go. Farewell. What a strange character. But I hope his wounds will be okay. At least we got a hold of some sweet flowers. We were running out of time for me to whip you up some chili brew. Oh, wow! This is a great batch! That's everything we need. It's getting late. Let's get back to Mondstadt. back ah <sighs> that was pretty tiring i'm a deacon besides i have a vision even if you did try anything i'd have been able to handle it not to mention i had the honorary knight with me if there'd been any danger you would def if i was alone hmm well for a vision bearer i'm more adept at healing if there were too many enemies i guess i would have been defeated after a while However, because I would have been alone, I wouldn't have risked an ambush by stopping to heal him myself. I would have just left some herbs with him instead. I'm good at remembering self-defense tactics like that. After all, as Sister Victoria always says, don't go around healing people in the wild. Then again, what's the point of having a vision if I can't stretch the rules once in a while? <laughs> oh, the chili brew! It shouldn't take long to make. Why don't you wait for me in the garden? I'll bring it straight over when it's ready.
Hey, finally the welcome festival is here again. Sure to make the most for the delay. The chili brew is ready. Why don't we drink these here? Here. This one is for you. Really? Is the flavor okay for you? I was worried you might not like it. Um, now that you mention it, I guess I'm the only one in the whole of Mondstadt that likes chili brew. Well, I like chili brew because... Uh, oh, actually, it's a little embarrassed. At first, I drank chili brew just to keep me awake. When I first began singing practice, I had to get up early every day. After practice, I would go to work at the church to take care of official matters. But because I was getting up so early, my singing wasn't getting any better. Sometimes I'd be half asleep singing the wrong lyrics. It was a disaster. I went to people for advice on how to stay awake. They had all kinds of methods. Running, chewing mint, one adventurer even told me that they'd fight slimes to stave off sleep. None of those ideas worked for me. They were too time-consuming. By the time I started to feel awake, there was hardly any time left for practice. <laughs> that was until I started chewing Julian chilies. <laughs> That's what Sarah said. She told me not to chew them, but to use the Julian chilies to make some kind of drink. Something milder in flavor. Using sweet flowers to temper the flavor was also her idea. That's when I started using this new and improved chili brew method. After a while, I actually started to enjoy the flavor. Whenever I drank it, the spiciness would always push me to work harder. I don't know what to say. My determination is nothing compared to yours. I heard Amber say that you're traveling far and wide looking for your sibling. Is that... Oh, the things you faced and those yet to come are more difficult than a few bad songs. Even if I can't assist you in other ways, when it comes to healing, you can count on me. No matter the wound, I will help you recover. Oh, have I said too much? Sorry. I, it's not often I get so much freedom. Let's just take our time and drink our drinks. Tomorrow, it's back to chasing our dreams with hard work. I hope our dreams can come true in the end. Victoria told me you already helped tidy up the cathedral. Think I just returned to shore? You must be third. Oh! Miss Margaret, she also met where it is that if you'd rather not, which would you? Coming right up. All right, let me think. The key to it, I know where to go. All right. I'll head to the Whispering Wood to gather sweet flowers while you go search for Julia and Chili's around Stone Gate. Oh, and... By the way, even though I've already requested a half day's leave from Sister Victoria, she always insists that I... Well, I... Yes, my child? Oh? S I see. I'm sure Sister Barbara has her read. Ah, I trust she will be in good hands then. Well, although this... If they appear while she... But if she's approached... And... So with that in mind... My... my
Pokemon can feel the spiciness just by holding them. Let's go to the Whispering Woods and find Barbara. be back soon. <sighs> it's been ages. We're into that. She said she wanted to go to the Whispering Woods and pick sweet flowers. Let's head up. Burst forth. Further up ahead. Wait, that's Barbara. Why is she hiding? Let's see what. How did you two? Oh, quickly, this way. Try not to make a sound. Oh, I'm so sorry. I ran into something unexpected. Oh, there's no heading back now. Long story short, I was picking sweet flowers and suddenly a group of treasure hoarders appeared. They'd seized a merchant of some kind and were pushing her around. It sounded like they were demanding money from her. I took cover right away, but I've been trailing them ever since. I guess they were too caught up with the merchant to notice me. I followed them this far, but it seemed like they knew somebody was following them, so I didn't go any further. Don't worry about me. They're only treasure hoarders, after all. Anyway, I've got a vision. It's enough to protect myself. As for the person they seized, they might be in danger. That's why I was secretly trailing them. I had the same idea, but reporting this to the knights would take too long. What if the treasure hoarders had done something terrible by then? I was trying to think of some way of rescuing the merchant when you showed up. So, honorary knight, maybe you could... Uh... Yay! I'll leave it to you, honorary knight. I'll handle the after Who dares enter our territory? immediately <laughs> so you want to play the hero Porter sees the girl let's see if this idiot with her dares make a move oh no they're going after Barbara we've got don't worry about me I'm a vision bearer after all I'll handle these guys you go rescue the merchant she's got a vision Boss, what should we do? What are you scared of? She's just a girl, so what if she's got a vision? There are more of us. Quit stalling and get her. Uh, 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 
Thank you. I, I can't express my gratitude. I'm a merchant, Falua. I, I was on my way to Mondstadt. I had no idea there were treasure hoarders on the road. They seized me and brought me here. If it weren't for you, gods know what would have happened to me. Oh, <laughs> please allow me to repay your kindness. The tr so, there are still a few bottles of chili brew, a few sweet flowers, and here's some more. No, no, no. We don't need a reward. Rescuing those in need is only natural. Besides, I'm the deaconess of the Church of Pavonius. And this is the Knights of Pavonius Honorary Knight. As a visitor from Liyue, we have a duty to guard your safety. I won't hear of it. You rescued me. It's only right that your kindness is repaid. I'm afraid I have nothing of great value to offer, but please choose what you like. Um, okay. I just don't know what to choose. Liyue chili brew might be delicious, but with those sweet flowers, I'd have enough ingredients to make my own. I know. You have way more adventuring experience than me. You choose. What do you think is the most fit? Yes, adventurers are savvy when it comes to reward. This? I mean, sure. <laughs> I don't know if you'll enjoy it. There are two of you, so you'll be needing a couple of bottles. Here you go. Taste yourselves. Thanks again for your help. I better get moving. Leo's chili brew. I've never tried it. I wonder what the flavor's like. Well, here goes nothing. <coughs> Ooh, ah, spicy. Throat's on fire. Mm, this isn't like the chili brew I make at all. What do you think? <sighs> I guess we don't have to finish them. It's getting late, and I doubt there's enough time to go looking for sweet flowers. When we get time, I'll make some for you. My version's a little easier on the tongue. Less... stimulating. Let's head back to Mondstadt. My break's nearly over. Thanks for your company today, honorary knight. Even though it was only... Next time, you can try...